I'm very happy with what we achieved in the Oslo Architecture Triennale 2016. We uh, managed to uh, use uh, very different platforms to develop a, a topic that we thought that was uh, important uh, at the time, important both uh, beyond the limits of architecture, but one in which architecture could make an, a specific uh, contribution, which was the way in which we uh, belong today or what's our relationship with uh, our belongings. Uh, and that uh, was a question that we wanted to address uh, at, uh, involving our engagement with communities, but also our engagement with uh, a transfor our transform engagement with uh, pl uh, places. So. Um, that's something that we address uh, through several exhibitions with an in-residence program that develop uh, particular uh, collaborations with uh, small uh, uh, places in which those questions manifested, but that also translated into a big conference and a book. Uh, and uh, that the book is what we are presenting here at the uh, Biennale de Chile. Uh, and it's probably the, the document that records many, better some of those discussions and uh, allows them to uh, continue throughout time. I think uh, Biennales, Triennales and all these uh, kinds of events are very important in order to uh, uh, advance questions that uh, are important uh, uh, at a particular time, questions that uh, many of us are uh, um, advancing in, uh, in our offices, in our academic institutions, in, uh, in practice um, and questions that we need to uh, share and reflect uh, collectively upon. So these journals are uh, uh, essentially a, a point of uh, conversation for uh, the people working on similar topics, a, a point of uh, advancing those questions and a, an occasion to build networks uh, for the people that are working along the same uh, uh, questions. I think that the question of validation, who validates who in a Biennale or a Triennale is not the most important one. Uh, it uh, it uh, reinforces um, a role for the curator as, as that that selects uh, who is good or bad. That's not the way we approach uh, curating. Uh, and uh, the question of validating was not uh, uh, the one leading our decisions. We were much more concerned on the topic that we were addressing and searching for people that were making uh, specific contributions to that topic uh, because we understood that uh, our role was not with uh, celebrating architecture but with pushing architecture to think ahead uh, of itself. So in that way, for example, uh, our role in selecting people was one of the ones we played, but we also uh, made an open call uh, for people uh, to submit a specific projects to questions that we made, uh, a, a series of uh, sites in which we wanted to test uh, architecture's tools uh, to address the topics we were uh, engaging. So in that sense, uh, we um, created a, an international jury of people of which we, in, in which, a jury in which we participated, but uh, one which we didn't lead and uh, in that sense the question of validation was beyond our control. Uh, so yeah, I think that uh, the idea of the curator as that we choose is not the most uh, interesting. I think the curator as that uh, person that takes care uh, and takes care of uh, advancing a specific topic in, in a certain way is much more interesting for us. In fact, uh, many of us in the group of After Belonging are not uh, professional curators, some are, some not. Uh, what joined us was not particularly the, the role of the curator, but uh, specific questions or concerns that we wanted to address. Uh.